Hey everybody, just got this in the mail and um, I just wanted to sort of get a, give a review on it. Um, I bought a new truck last week and um, one of the things that did not come on my truck was a backup camera. Um, it was pretty expensive and I just didn't want to have to do it. So uh, instead I tried to find an um, alternate way that I could uh, be able to see where, where I'm, when I'm backing up to my trailer. Uh, so the trailer uh, would not hit the back of my truck. Um, that was one of the main things that I wanted to find out to see if I could do. But anyway, it's called the Hitch Camera. Um, it's made by RVS Systems. Um, no wiring ready to use. It's total um, wireless. Uh, let's see what else it says. Uh, it's plug and play, digital wireless, full color, magnetic base, waterproof camera, full 3.5 color LCD with adjustable gooseneck. That's the one that, that's in the cab. Uh, infrared night vision, 120 degree camera view, 75 foot range, so if you wanted to put it on the back of your travel trailer or something then you could probably do it that way too. 2.4 gigahertz, gigahertz transmitter. I'm not sure if um, with the uh, 75 foot range if I actually leave it on the back of my trailer or not, um, but yeah, it's, uh, I, I wouldn't, wouldn't feel comfortable doing that. I want a more permanent base on it instead of just a magnetic base. So what we're going to go ahead and do is going to go ahead and open this in here in a few minutes, and we'll give it a test run and see how it works. Okay, let's go ahead and open this up and see how it, it's all in the package. Uh, so here. Directions. Uh, stop. Technical support additional information is available by calling your technical support hotline. Yeah, okay, come to that. Of course it has the safety do's and don'ts, all the good things about it. So here we so we have the camera, the actual camera. And I believe this runs off a nine volt, yeah, runs off a nine volt DC uh, battery. And um, yes, it's made in China. Uh, I can't avoid that too much. Um, so I'm going to insert the battery, but it runs off a nine volt battery. It's adjustable, and it has this magnetic base. So and then also, let's see what's this? This is the the camera. This is the the um, monitor that plugs into your cigarette lighter so um, you can actually view it so I'd, mine would probably be like something like that or something but you know so this goes on the back of your truck magnetical this goes back to truck magnetically or on the back of your RV or whatever and then um, it wirelessly syncs with your monitor uh, with, which is in the cab of your truck that's on a 12 volt um, 12 volt DC but anyway Okay, uh, it looks like I'm going to need a little screwdriver to get this open. So where it says insert the battery. I had to find a little, little small screwdriver that I use. And just learned it does not come with a 12 volt battery. I mean a 9 volt battery, excuse me, 9 volt battery. So, I guess I get to go to the store and uh, see if I can get a 9 volt battery for this. Okay, I'm back from the store. Just ran up there to get a 9 volt battery. I'm not one to keep, keep some batteries around too much because um, they won't get used half the time. But anyway, I uh, found one battery. I think it was in a remote or something, but it didn't have enough juice in it. So, um, I went on up to the store and just bought two. Just had one spare. So, I'll just go ahead and put this in. And you think I was coordinated enough to do this, but maybe not. Oh, serious? Seriously? <laughs> yeah, just, there we go. Alright, there we go. Mosh butter. Get this back in there. There we go. There we go. Oh, it's got a little gasket on it, so I got to be careful with that. Make sure it doesn't doesn't come out. Just 
just put the gasket back in. Put that in there. Put that in there. All right, this is a, this is gonna be a little bit different than I was expecting. There we go. Okay. Screw these back in. want to get them too tight but tight enough okay cool all right so what we're going to do we're going to go ahead and uh, go out to the truck and um, see how this actually works okay so we're going to see how this works out uh, got my trailer hitch installed and I'm going to actually back it up to the trailer right there so let's go ahead and see how we do this Found out that this is not very. This not a nut won't hold it. Won't hold the magnet, which is fine, but this bumper will. So what we need to do is turn this on. It's kind of hard to do one handed though, isn't it? Let's just turn this on. Got a little blue light. Okay, we're gonna see how this works out. Um, I've got the, the main little screen here that has the the um, cigarette lighter plug in it. So plug this in. Got a little blue light, a little button on the side. All right. I don't know if y'all can see that or not. And look at there. We got picture. Okay, as y'all can see, the pictures came up. <clears throat> got a little blue light flashing. That means that there's connection. Uh, shows that there's a very strong connection. Um, everything looks good, except I have it tilted too high. So let me put this thing back in the park and go back there and tilt it down just a little bit. Okay, there's the trailer ball. Let's see if I can get back up to it. Missing it completely, doesn't it? Okay. So anyway, uh, if my trailer was up a little bit higher, I wouldn't have bumped it like that. But that's what I was. I was not bumping my my car, my new truck. You know, I'm okay. Okay. I'm gonna try to do this without shaking too much. Show y'all what it looks like. So you can see I'm backing right up to it and I'm right at it now. Okay, so, you know, it looks like it's working pretty good. Um, it's not as good as a, as a regular, the, the backup camera that comes with the truck. Um, but it suits the purpose that, I'm looking, that I actually wanted to use it for. Um, I might consider trying to get a, um, some type of, uh, like a clamp or something uh, that, has some, that I can do on the magnetic part of it. And uh, where it will be able to... Um, uh, look down on instead of straight at head because that throws a, the, the uh, perceptions a little off so so when I do that then I will be able to uh, show y'all uh, exactly how I did it but anyway um, appreciate y'all watching and uh, just remember to go ahead and subscribe if you can uh, down in the bottom corner and um, just click the, the icon and uh, subscribe I would really appreciate it and we'll talk to y'all later